Hello, I'm Ronnie Jr. from YRM, and today we're going to be talk, looking at front axles. So we're going to be looking at these two front axles today. So this one is a pre-2002, and this one is a 2002 onwards, and we're going to look at the differences between the two. So what we're going to look at is the main two differences between the early axle and the later style axle. First one is your panard bracket. So this panard bracket is differentiated between 2000 and up to 2002 and 2002 onwards. So what you're looking at here is a hole inside here, that is to take a 14 mil bolt, whereas the panard for 2002 onwards is for an M16 bolt. The other difference is on your radius arm, which is, so we call this bit is your radius arm here, so it's what your radius arm bolts onto. And what we're looking at here is the inside measurement here. So when you go look on the website, you'll see there'll be an option there saying do you want a 47 mil or 54 mil, and that's referring to this inside measurement here. So the 47 and the 54 denotes what year it was as well. So if you've got a 54 mil, it's 300 TDI onwards. And if you've got a 47 mil, it's up to 200 TDI, so you're talking 93. So if you look at this one here, that one's 47. So this will fit your, your, Range Rover, your early Range Rover Classics, up to like 93. It'll also fit your early Defenders, and it'll also fit Discovery 1s up to uh, 93, so not your... Uh, is three and a TD onwards. So that's the measurement looking at there. So when you look at ours, radius arm, there's your, your 47 mil inside there. And if we look at uh, 54 mil quickly, and there's your 54 mil on the inside of the bracket there. So that's enough space for your radius arm to fit in, your bush, so it's exactly the same. So a lot of people ask us, what brackets can we supply for the axle? Basically, all of them. So if you were to take this axle back down to its, just its, its bare case and such tube and a dip here, we can supply a radius arm this side, bump stop this side, and anti-roll bar on this side, and your core spring mount, and the same for the left-hand side. Uh, so until so this one, we've had it shop blasted. Until you really have had them shop blasted, you can't really tell the damage because it might look good from with the paint on it. So you can obviously see on this one, the bump stop, that's perished and disappeared. So that's what your bump stop should look, should look like there. Same with your, your anti-roll bar as well. Another thing you might need to make a note of is your panards. Now you can see here your panards are fitted on both sides. So when Land Rover did them, they made them so they would fit left-hand drive and right-hand drive. So in the UK, right-hand drive, you would only need your panard on your left hand side. So if you're buying the radius arm for the right hand side, you can request it without the panard. So that there is option A. So we can do that as well. But if you've got a left hand drive vehicle, so a lot of Europe, uh, America, you're going to need the radius arm with the panard on the right hand side. So on this one, you can see there's no anti-roll bars fitted. If you want anti-roll bars fitted, it's a welding product. We often get asked as a question. So what you do is you grind the welds off on this washer here, knock the washer off. Then all you're going to do to fit this is on your M16 bolt going for your radius arm, you put that through there, then you'd allow this just this would then be pivoting on there. And all you're going to do is pivot it round until that's nice and flush onto your axle case in there. Then you'd weld round both sides on there to weld it in place to your axle. So this was the, the 2002 onwards axle. So you can see how the anti-roll bar, what we were just talking about in the previous one, is fitted there. It's got a weld round. So it's been welded from this side here. So around there. So what makes this a 2002 onwards? One is the radius arm, where it's 54 mil. So that would be from 1994 onwards. 
But what makes this 2000 show onwards is your panard. So on the early one, early cars, you had this style of panard here with a 14 no bolt in there. 2002 onwards, where you got like a straight panard running across there. The bolt is 16 mil, and that mounts on there like that. And again, bump stops are the same in all the years. Core spin mount is the same in all the years, so as you really say. It's the 47 mil and 54 mil what makes a difference, and your panard bracket. So whilst you refurbish your axles, other parts of what, might, what you might be interested in are your spring seats, which is probably hotly galvanised, and your spring retainers, which is probably 316 grade stainless steel. Other parts, which is apply your, your panard bracket, galvanised, for early and later. We can also apply your radius arms to suit your 54 mil and your 47 mil. So early one, for 47 mil is RC001, 54 mil is RC002. And when they come, all the threads are attached, ready just to, to bolt up. Um, you can apply the, the polybush, uh, polybush as well with all the, the inserts, which are also with the stainless steel fixings, which again is all 316 grade stainless steel. And they're all done to A380, which is equivalent to 8.8 .8 high tensile bolts. So to summarise, the main two differences between these axles, one is a panard, this one's 2002 onwards, this one is up to 2002. So 40mm bolt, 16mm bolt. Second difference is your radius arm. So this one's 54mm, which is from 94 onwards, which is 300 TDI, and the other one is up to 300 TDI, which is 47mm. But always check to make sure your, your axle hasn't been changed over the years, and you've got an early car, and if put on a later style axle and that's all for today thanks for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one